Hey everyone, Darren here. I had promised some time ago I was going to go into more details about DCOs and how they work, and I thought I'd go ahead and talk something about other oscillators as well, and uh, advantages and disadvantages and so on. And I'm kind, still kind of zeroing in on what sort of analog synth beast I want to make for my studio, since I can't really have it all. I'm trying to zero in on something that I think would be kind of cool and unusual I should trademark that for uh, for my own studio and uh, but anyway um, I thought I would uh, go ahead and uh, get started right into the educational part and for this I have some visual aids now check that out it's sharpie on paper only the most high-tech stuff right here so let's talk about the ramp wave your basic ramp is literally, it, it, it's exactly what it sounds like it is. You're basically integrating a current on a capacitor and you get a voltage out and, you know, you just get this ramp. Now, obviously, it doesn't go up to infinity in practical terms, but, uh, you know, you don't want it to, right? You want a sawtooth wave. You want a wave that looks like that. Now, in the old days when they were making oscillators, you, there, were, there are a number of different sine wave oscillators that have been made uh, in the past like Hartley and Colpitts. And they work by being uh, basically having a transistor in a kind of tuned resonant circuit that uh, essentially keeps the resonance of the circuit from ever dying off so you get this kind kind of nice consistent sine wave out and they generally work at kind of more like rf frequencies than at uh than at audio frequencies so if you really want to do voltage control and that's the one thing that we want is we want voltage controlled uh you can't think about exploiting like the natural physics of a circuit or a system you have to think in terms of implementing a mathematical function in circuitry. And that's exactly what we end up with here. So we have our current coming in, and that current can be the result of a control voltage coming in and feeding a kind of a constant current supply. So you've, you're basically feeding a control voltage right in, to an integrating capacitor, you get a voltage out. And uh, in order to do the reset, you can set a voltage reference, so whatever you want your maximum voltage to be, into a comparator, and use that to trip a transistor to reset the uh, capacitor here back to a zero potential. And there, and, and that's, a, that's all there is to it, basically. That's the core of basically every VCO that's made. And from there, if you want to get uh, uh, pulse waves and such, you can uh, use wave shaping circuitry. Autofocus isn't working very well. Okay, well, let's just continue on. I've messed with this camera enough here. So, now, the other thing that, that what I just showed you kind of leads to part of the complexity of uh, these uh, waves, or uh, the part of the complexity that ends up in the circuit because what I showed you has a linear response. So the, as you raise the voltage, the frequency goes up linearly to that. The problem is, is we hear like this. So, you know, here's the oct here's an octave, and this octave is twice the frequency of this octave, and the next octave over is twice the frequency. Twice the frequency of the previous, twice the frequency of the previous. It's a logarithmic response. Well, it's an exponential response that we need. That's how humans hear. So, in order to get a... There are several ways of dealing with that in a synthesizer. One is to just make your control voltages logarithmic, or, um, sorry, exponential. And uh, it will, uh, you know, you, you just use your oscillators as normal. But uh, a lot of companies, most companies, in fact, uh, go with uh, a lot of circuitry in the oscillator to uh, do a linear to exponential conversion of the control voltage. And that's where a lot of your complexity comes from. And that's also where a lot of your temperature uh, instability comes from as well. So uh, in the 80s, these DCOs 
were developed and because at, at about that point they started uh, coming up they, they started having available microprocessors that could actually handle the amount of processing they needed so you're you're have you're having a, a, a number going through a, a DAC, a digital to analog converter, through a resistor just to basically convert it into a current, into a uh, a integrating capacitor and out as a voltage. And but inst instead of like using a, a Schmidt trigger or a comparator to reset the transistor, you're using a timer which is going to be extremely accurate and won't drift with time because that timer is based upon a crystal clock. So, um, you know, your end result is a sawtooth wave just like the other one. Now, the uh, disadvantage to this system comes with the fact that your amplitude is now independent of your reset mechanism. So, you have a particular VDAC, I called it, and a particular frequency, and you get a particular wave. If you double the frequency, your wave becomes half the the amplitude, and we I demonstrated that in my previous video. I link to that down below if you want to go take a look. So you have to uh, have an algorithm which is also adjusting the number going to the DAC, so you can double the voltage of the DAC, and as if you double the frequency, and then you can maintain the amplitude of your output wave. Now, what I would like to do is I've been watching some videos lately of a. I've got to do something about that autofocus. Um, about an a pretty cool synth called the. Uh, eight voice from Oberheim or the four voice it's really they're, they're really the same machine and uh, I kind of I, I kind of find the idea of having these separate independent voices all individually controlled and having a controller which can be designed to control them in different ways depending on what you want to do at the keyboard I'm using the word control an awful lot, which is funny because I'm really not a controlling individual. Okay, never mind. Um, and uh, so anyway, I really like that idea. So I got to thinking about something that's kind of a cross between your Oberheim 4 voice or 8 voice and the uh, Dave Smith Instruments uh, Poly Evolver keyboard which is I would have two DCOs and two DDS synths. Okay, I've got to orient myself here. Getting added together into a VCF and a VCA. Now, a lot of mod uh, modern chips, a modern microcontroller should be able to handle generating all of this as well as generating LFOs and envelopes to control the entire voice. And then four voices into a mixer controlling level and pan left, right, out, and Bob's your uncle. So... Uh, I have, like right here, this is a launch pad, a TI launch pad. Uh, it's 80 megahertz ARM with uh, DSP extensions as well as a floating point unit. And I think this could be the basis of a single voice without any trouble whatsoever. And I might even be able to implement a car plus strong algorithm for, you know, for part of it as well. Who knows? Um, and that's also part of the reason why I think... I could actually do uh, something pretty cool for really not much money. You know, these things were insanely ins expensive back in the 70s, and people making things like this now, they're insanely expensive today because they insist on using all of the same designs and methodologies and parts that were available back in the 70s. And one of my, one of my design principles is, thou shalt not be afraid of digital technology. I do not, I want to take advantage of everything available to me. And these days you have high quality op amps, high quality comparators, insanely powerful uh, microcontrollers available for insanely cheap prices. And I think uh, it would be possible to make uh, eight voices like this for really not much money at all just the time investment, which you know I'm more than happy to make. So uh, anyway, that's kind of uh, 
where I've been going with all of this, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you uh, liked it, please feel free to subscribe to me or click the like button down below, and as always, thanks for watching.